What do we regret? 90% of people say they have a major regret about something in their lives. The feeling of regret is the second most frequently mentioned emotion after love. It's a feeling we all have. And when we think about regret, most of us regret something either romantically or with our family or with our career. And research says that our social regrets loom the largest because of our inherent need to belong. The first thing that I decided to do was when I felt regret or the thought of regret, I was just going to take action. Because for me doing something, at least I tried. And that allowed me to feel a little bit better at the end of the evening. You always get three things when walking into the unknown. And that's usually why you're not going to put yourself into these situations because you, you don't know what you're walking into. You're a bit scared. If you remember what you always get, then you always can take something away. And for myself, walking into the unknown, you always get a good story to tell your friends. You want to connect with people, you got to have some good stories and you have to have stories of your trial and error. That helps you connect. Those are stories that we can all relate to. Number two, experience points. You don't get experience without trying new things. You consider what you've just done a mass failure. It's still experience at the end of the day. Experience points, transfer to confidence points, and no one can take that away from you. And lastly, most importantly, is you always learn something about yourself that you previously did not know. And that is invaluable. And that is a place where you can now begin to grow. I think regret is a choice. Certainly. And it's a choice to live in the past or to focus on the future. And your three points are exactly that, focused on the future. When you're dealing with regret, the only way to move through it is to choose to let go. And unfortunately, it's not an easy choice. It's often very difficult to choose to stop regretting, but it becomes a lot easier when your next step is action-packed and it's moving towards your future instead of standing still. And I think most of us feel regret when we're standing still. When you're in motion, when you're focused on the future, you're not wallowing in regret and it doesn't take over your life and certainly doesn't take over your thoughts. When I look back at my life, those moments where I felt the most regret are now in the rearview mirror. Like I remember being in graduate school, trying to figure out if I should leave to start the company, The Art of Charm with you, Johnny. I was worried about, well, am I gonna regret this decision in 10 years? Mm -hmm. And there have certainly been moments over the last 12, almost 13 years now, where I had thought, man, I kind of regret that decision. What would have been if I had stayed in medicine? The flip side of that is those moments are fleeting. They're not something that I hold on to. It's a choice. It's a choice to wake up tomorrow and focus on the art of charm or to think about what could have been in graduate school. And I think when you look at it as a choice, you take your power back, which is a big part of what we talk about here at the art of charm. Well, I certainly know when I had the opportunity to move to New York and start this with, with you. For me, myself, it was, I did not want to have to look in the mirror 10 years from now and go, what if I would have taken that opportunity? Now the fun part is looking at it of what can we do in the next 10 years, right? Focusing on the future. Uh, absolutely. And we had Dan Ariely on the show. And what did he say about regret? Regret is this idea that we compare what we have to an imaginary world. And if what we have in the real world is worse than what we have in the imaginary world, we feel bad about it. And if it's better, we feel good about it. But life doesn't work that way. Even that ultimate reality, that alternate reality that you're constructing in your mind is not a real true reality. It's not the outcome if you chose something else. And when you focus on the process, whether it's learning, whether it's getting those experience points, instead of focusing on the outcome, you can start to move away from regret. We want you to sit down, write out your biggest regret, like when I adopted puppers. <laughs> and then ask yourself, what are three lessons that I can take from this moment in my life? Because to Johnny's point, what we're focused on, and if we're focused on the past, it's gonna be very difficult for us to turn those into lessons. So what are three lessons that you can take from that biggest regret you have in your life? Be free.